The story and Zach, is that consistent? The idea that there were Islamic terrorist cells in this particular parish in northern Louisiana? Uh, that seems like it might be news. Uh, it is. It was news when when Mr. Baswell told me that this morning. Uh, I've been trying to follow up with the FBI to, to see whether the parish had shared that information with federal law enforcement, and they've told me they're looking into it, but so far haven't confirmed that. So you know, we wouldn't want to sort of go too far down that road. Um, I, I think the, the other thing that, that's worth noting is they, this plan has apparently been in the works uh, in the sheriff's mind since after September 11th. So I, I don't think it was prompted initially by, by these reports that Mr. Basil was referring to. So in other words, uh, after September 11th, in other words, almost uh, nine years ago, they, they have these plans. And is it clear at all to you when these uh, supposed uh, Islamic terrorist cells were, were in this parish? And again, uh, did the federal government, as far as your reporting, did they ever get asked for any help in dealing with this? Um, I mean, he's, he's saying that this happened a year or a year or so ago. That, that's the, the, as far as the level of specificity we've gotten on it. The, the FBI, as I say, has not confirmed that they they ever were, were contacted on this, so so it's unclear. It sounds like the you know the the larger goal for this Operation Exodus was not just in in the event of a specific terrorist threat that they had learned about, but but uh, to be prepared for any man-made or natural disaster, and, and maybe more importantly for the chaos that that they were afraid might come from that. So to defend gas stations and grocery stores from from looting and rioting, which, which may have been part of the concern. And then, Zach, finally, do you know of any other parts of the country that, uh, where, who have actually had um, uh, Muslim uh, terrorist cells in their midst who have gone out and, I don't know, put together a war wagon and a 50 caliber machine gun? Uh, no, I mean, you know, we have heard about these, these isolated cases of homegrown extremists, so, so that exists, of course, but, but the usual response to that is, is to bring in federal law enforcement and have them do what they do rather than turning things over to volunteers who are, are often sort of on the other side of middle age and, if you look at the videos, don't seem all that well prepared to, to take on a terrorist attack. Zach Roth from TalkingPointsMemo.com who broke this story. Uh, Zach, thanks so much for coming on again today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.